Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some super useful iPhone apps that will make your iPhone more worth its money. Now, of course, we do everything through apps on our devices. And of course, the number and the types of apps that we have on our device will dictate how much we can get done with our devices. So in this video, I will show you guys some very useful apps that I believe will make your iPhone more worth its money by allowing you to do things that you probably didn't even think that you can do with your iPhone. And we're starting things off with fast chart. This will allow you to create charts easily and very quickly on your iPhone. You will have all kinds of different charts here. So you will have a pie chart, line chart, bar chart. You have a radar graph and stacked as well. Now all this allows us to create charts in a matter of seconds. Whether you need this for your work or maybe for your school, you just tap on the type that you want and you will have here the current values. Of course, these are presets. You can go ahead and remove any one of them or you can just go ahead and change here whatever you need to change. Change the name, change the score and of course choose here where you want to display the text outside, inside and have an indicator as well. Once you're done with that, you can tap on confirm and you will have your chart here. What you can do is also tap the plus button. Of course, if you want to add a new value, just as easy as that. And you can go to appearance right here. You can actually rotate the chart anywhere you like. You can add the gaps right there between the different scores. And you have the inside text as well. You can move it around. You can have here the donut look. It's really, really cool. You can see how the radius, which you can change as well. You can pretty much do everything here and customize this any way you need. Once you're done with that, you can just tap here. You can actually export this as an image and it will be saved under the camera roll of your device. ARC is the next app for the video. Now this app allows you to transfer files between your phone and your computer. Now if you have an Apple phone, an iPhone, of course, and you have also an Apple computer, a Mac or a MacBook Pro, whatever you have, it is pretty simple to do that with AirDrop. But if you have a PC, a Windows computer, and you have an iPhone or you have a Mac and you have an Android, which I don't believe a lot of people do, but whether you, it doesn't matter which devices you have, as long as you have this app installed on your device and you have also the app installed on your computer, then transferring files will be very, very easy. So you will see here what we can do is just go ahead and connect to the other device. So on my computer, all I have to do is just launch the app and then I can just scan the code right here. I already did. So let's just go back. And now what I have to do is just tap there and I can go ahead and select files images or videos that I want to transfer. I can tap here and select any file that I have. And of course, just like that, transfer it to the device, to my computer in this case. So you can see we can trust the device there on the computer and anytime you want to just send something, it will be sent right away. It's very simple to use, very, very effective. You can switch, of course, between your iPhone and your Mac or whatever devices you have and just send files to one another. It will be very simple to do. And of course, is a lifesaver, especially if you have an iPhone and you have a Windows computer. Barcode copy is another app that you will probably use a lot. So what this app does is that it allows you to scan barcodes and also search for those items on the internet really quickly. So let's say you're shopping for something, you find a product that you like, but you want to see whether you can find a better deal online. All you have to do is just tap right here on scan barcode and just scan the barcode like that. Now, what it does is that it just copies the, the barcode on your clipboard. So on the app here, tap open the browser and now you can just go ahead and Google that barcode. And of course you will find deals about that barcode. So let's just open Google here. We have it. Let's just go ahead and paste the barcode here. And just like that, it will find the barcode that you need. And of course, find the exact product. So you can see here, you can see eBay. We have all kinds of different sites where maybe we can find a better deal than where we are right now. Woodbox is the next app for the video. This is a really interesting app. It has a ton of different tools that you can use on your device. It's like having 100 apps in one app. So you can see right here what we have. Just open the app and you can see here a ton of different things. Like we have an image editor, image search right there. Just go ahead, choose an image and search the internet for that image. So you can see we have image tools here. 
we have text tool so scan text ocr right there calculate currency rate right there you just tap on it it will load you the tool of course you can just go ahead and choose the currencies from here but that it's on japanese i believe that part right there i don't know why hopefully it will be fixed and then you will have here things like today in history you have network speed test even an instagram downloader so you can have a lot of different tools right here into one app so anything that you need that you see here just go ahead and of course tap on it and you will be able to use that tool within this app the next app for the video is called groups it allows you to create groups of contacts which then you can use to send a group email or message now you can do that with iMessage but when it comes to emails this will make it very very easy for you to send an email to a group of friends so you will have your group here you create the group enter the contacts that you want to add to that group then simply tap on the group here you can just go ahead and email all of them from here or just send a message to all of them directly from the app here now what you can do is also create templates so you tap the plus button and you can create an email or an sms template which then you can use to quickly send to any of the groups that you have previously created under the groups tab Next up is Kiwix. Now this one is really interesting. It allows you to browse for Wikipedia and things like that even if your device is offline, not connected to the internet. Now the way it works, of course, you will need to get the things that you need on your iPhone, which means that it will require quite a lot of space on your iPhone. So if we open the library right here, you can see what we have on device. So we have basketball by Wikipedia. So any article that's on Wikipedia that has to do with basketball, it has been downloaded to my device. It's actually not that big in this case, it's at around 200 megabytes because it will only allow you to download text, not the photos and things like that. So it will have way less space on your device, but you can see all the things here. So you will have TED, you will have Wikisource, you will have Wikinews, Wikipedia, and things like that. You can just go ahead and download stuff from these websites to your device. So if we go to Astronomy right here, you can see we can download it on our device and then we can search basically the internet on Wikipedia astronomy just like we were connected to the internet even though we might not have a connection but you can see here we have two options for each of them like you can see the first one is like at around 800 megabytes but if you go to the one without images it is a, it is a, at around 300 megabytes so that of course will be super super simple to go ahead and download to your device and it will take way less space and then even though you might be not connected to the internet you can just go ahead and tap the search button and you can search right here for any article from the stuff that you have downloaded the next app for the video is called find and it allows us to find your pictures based on the text that's on that picture now you can do this with ios not on the photos app from but from the spotlight search but sometimes it won't show you results from your photos because if you search for something it will show you all kinds of different results and also photos sometimes it doesn't show photos at all with this app you can see it has to scan all of your photos first mine is not still done here but when you search for something it will actually find the text on that picture and it will show you right here so you will have all of your results and then you can also just go to, to the screenshot only so you can just go ahead and find any picture you need just based on that simple text that's on that picture Wallux is the next app for the video. I really love this app. It allows you to create lock screen wallpapers with horizontal photos. Now, how many times you have taken a picture, but it's horizontal just like this, and you won't be able to actually use this as a wallpaper for your lock screen, or it will look really bad. Well, with this app, you can fix that. What you can do is, first of all, of course, you can resize this. So we can just make it smaller here, Tap the button once you're done then we can choose the background now for the background we can use a white color that's not that good we can use any color we want here still not that good you can add blur here so you can see it shows a part of that wallpaper you can choose the amount of blur here the alpha the serration as well so we can fix that just like this and now you can see if we tap the button right there it will look much much better so what you can do here is also just 
tap on preview and see how it would look on your lock screen you can see in this case it looks much much better so there are a lot of things that you can do here so if we tap right there you can see you can adjust basically the photo everything can be done on the photo the editing options normally that just like we have on any other photo and we can even add this reflect effect right here you can see how cool that looks so you can see that same picture we can add this and you can see now it looks much much different if we preview it you can see how cool it would look on our lock screen and last but not least is colors palette it allows you to find colors from the gallery or from the camera of your iphone so you tap right there take a picture we can just go ahead and use this photo and you can see all the colors that it did find on that photo now what we can do is of course tap here and it will show us all all the colors that it did find and of course all the codes are right here so anytime you need to find an exact color of a picture of something of an object you can just go ahead and do that simply by taking a picture with your iphone or you can even load a photo from the photo gallery and you can even create your own colors right here so just create any color you like here then you will have the code you can simply go ahead and save it or just copy the code from here so that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos if you need to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one